Hey guys, welcome back to Techo Ground. Today we're gonna learn how to solve the problems of checkpoint with immediate update technique. So let's get started. This is the question today we're gonna solve. This question usually comes in RDBMS papers. There are total four transactions: start transaction T1, then in the fourth line start transaction T2. Then there is a commit T2 and there is a commit T1 in the third line. Then there is a checkpoint. So what you have to do, you have to see the transaction which are above the checkpoint. So what you have to do first, you have to make a diagram. So you have to write first three things. You have to first write a checkpoint and then you have to write a crash. So because this is immediate update technique. You have to do two things. You have to undo and redo. So I'm going to explain you what are these. So what you have to see, you can see in the question there are two transactions which are committed before the checkpoint. So in the first line it is written start transaction T1. Then in the second if there is a write operation T1. Then in the third you can see there is a commit T1. So in the immediate update technique, if the transaction is committed before the checkpoint you have to write an arrow so we will write it here that the transaction t1 is committed you have to write it above the checkpoint so that we can make the graph later so, so the transaction which is committed before the checkpoint is t1 then you can see on the fourth line we have a start transaction t2 and a write transaction t2 and then again a write item t2 and then a commit t2 so again the transaction is committed before the checkpoint so you have to write again the same thing t2 so you can see now the checkpoint is written so the main use of checkpoint is that the system set checkpoint after committing some transaction so that if there is an error the system can revert back to the checkpoint and then what is written after the checkpoint you can see there is a transaction t4 started so start t4 then there is a write operation so write t4 and then there is a start t3 and then there is a write t3 and the system crashed on this now what you have to do because this is an image update technique you have to redo all the transaction that are started after the checkpoint you can see there is no transaction committed after the checkpoint if any transaction commits after the checkpoint you have to make an arrow and write the name of the transaction so you can see that there are only two transactions started which is t4 and t3 so what you have to do you have to make a redo list here so crash and make an arrow and because there are two transactions right t4 and t these are our four transactions which we have to redo and undo so now how to make a graph first you have to make a line and you can see there are two things first you have to write a system crash so the system crash on the last side so system crash and before that we have a checkpoint so you can see in our this diagram there are two transactions which are committed before the checkpoint so what you have to do the transaction t1 is committed first so make a line and write t1 and then you can see the second transaction so write it below the word t1 because in the timeline it is committed after the t1 so now write t2 and then because there are no transaction here it's an immediate update technique and suppose there is a transaction called t5 and it is committed here commit t5 then what you have to do you have to write that here make a line and write t5 this is just to example if there is some transaction then you can see there are two transactions which we have to redo so because we have to redo it before the system guys start it from here and below the timeline so below t2 and write the first because the transaction t4 is started first so you have to write t4 and then the remaining transaction so write it below the t4 which is t3 so this is the graph of immediate update technique using the checkpoint this is how you can solve this problem hope you like the video if you like the video please press the like button if you have any question comment by suggestion please leave that in the comment box subscribe for more bye